Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. So up next, Chandra Tribal. So we'll put uh, Chandra in the search bar and see what comes out. A lot of Chandras. Alright, could play the Amber Cat to ramp out turn 3. Chandras, or we could just play more removal. Kind of like the Amber Cat. Does make a card like Flame Sweep a little bit worse. So, do we play Flame Sweep? I mean, maybe it's not necessary if we just ramp into Big Chandra as our sweeper. Probably one shock. The mana base can definitely use a couple upgrades uh, Blast Zone, Mobilize District, maybe Interplanar Beacon. Castle Umbreth even. A lot of lands we can add for a single color deck. So how about we do two castles? And then... Four district might be a bit much. Don't hate Blast Zone. So how about two of each? And then what happens if we add four beacons? I have 16 red sources and 24 Chandras. It's probably enough. Yeah, Karn's Bastion for Proliferate could be good too. Yeah, maybe we can squeeze in two of those too. So I've got 14 reds, 18 for Chandras. That's definitely borderline, but might still be okay. I guess I would want to go up to at least 15. So let's cut one colorless land, maybe just go one Bastion. And I guess we... Eh, maybe I could still fit it in and just play a couple extra lands. This is probably a 25-26 land deck. Can always discard additional copies to a Regulator. Torbrand could be fine, although it's another 4-drop and we already have a lot of 4-drops. Probably want some more cheap removal, is my guess, to go with Shock and Triumph. Iron Crank Feet for turn for Big Chandra. We can turn for Big Chandra in a different way. Turn two Amber Cats. Turn three Chandra Novice Pyromancer. Turn four Use the Mana. Yeah, Flame Sweep I would be more into if we didn't play the Amber Cats. Um, so between Dragonfire, Lava Coil. Without Questing Beast, there's no real need for Lava Coil, I guess. Could also play a couple Thrills, but we have Regulator, so probably not necessary. Yeah, I guess we'll go with two Dragonfires. Cavalier of Flame is also a nice one, since we can ramp it out with Amber Cats. But we probably have enough top ends already. Although, maybe not. How about we just play two Cavaliers, and then... I'm probably going to have to cut some of the expensive cards, but we're also playing 26 lands, so maybe it's fine. I guess a triple red could be a bit of an issue with all these fancy lands. Yeah, probably going to have to cut a couple for Cavalier. So... Yeah, Bastion's probably too cute, and Blast Zone. Just turn those into mountains and keep the beacons for life gain, which seems quite good. And the uh, districts for beatdown. So we have 20 red sources, could potentially cut two more, but eh, better safe than sorry. And of course the Chandra sleeve. Alright, I think we're good to go. Hmm. Let's uh, take a look, apparently I already built Chandra Tribal at some point. Maybe I can get some inspiration. Chandra Tribal. <laughs> uh, this keeps happening. I built the identical same deck. The only difference is I wasn't playing beacons and I had four districts. Still had two cavaliers. It's like those people that sleepwalk and then they realize what they've done during the night when they weren't awake. I just built decks and then discovered that I already built them. But I guess the deck kind of builds itself. We'll go with the, the new version 
try those beacons. Sure. Play beacon in case we draw another beacon. Uh oh. And goodbye, Amber Cats. I think here, instead of getting too damaged, I'm just gonna. Add loyalty. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> it's awesome. Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. And hopefully draw land next turn. I appreciate clean victory. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Hmm. So I could almost kill the science here with uh, Castle Ambreth. Probably still better to play Big Chandra. And loyalty or tokens. Loyalty might be better actually. We we'll let them keep the science and we're we're gonna work on our own planeswalkers here. Sadly, Regulator's gone. My answers lie in the cold truth. Okay, Paramancer's definitely a problem. But we get to redirect it at least. Okay. Start here. Hmm, pretty awkward. So now what? I can shock, get back shock to kill science, or do the same to kill Paramancer. Paramancer might be a bigger problem. Alright, so far Fire Artisan hasn't delivered yet. Hmm. What is my strategy here? Finding uh, the other four mana Chandra to make mana to help us ramp out to Awakened Inferno would be nice. Alright, so... Don't have to shock right now. So we can make some tokens, or we can add loyalty. If we make tokens, we get to kill the Scions, which is probably worth it. Also shock. Alright, I mean, if they're shocking a token, it's not too bad. So probably going to end up double shocking the Paramancer again, depending on what happens. I guess it's not going to be an option anymore. Hey, I'm meditating here. 
So now what? If I draw land, I could still double shock Pyromancer. Because then I can shock, play this, shock again. So I guess I'll untap. Sure. That's fine. Land, please. Sit back and watch it burn. I will lose my Chandra here, but better than having plans. Basically anything. Tell me if you've seen this one before. We're close to casting our awakened inferno. Yeah, we'll give up on the regulator. Could minus five to take out science. Could just plus. Um, minusing here if they play another one is not great. They can also just start activating alliance to trigger it. So I kind of like plussing here. Killing the fairies is bad if they can uh, draw two cards at instant speed here. Because then they make two more fairies and then they can use a plus two plus so to kill my Chandra. But yeah, killing these might let me ultimate here, but I don't think I, can, I care about ultimating this one to be honest. Let's just plus. I did it have the thrill, so glad we didn't go for the board wipe. So they can't kill six mana chandra unless they have something else. Because they could pump for two extra damage, that's seven. But I guess they could take out Fire Artisan. I will learn what nobody yet knows. Ooh, discards Phoenix. Kinda of surprised they were able to fit in the Arclight Phoenix 2 here, but maybe it will pay off. Alright, just hard cast one, fair enough. So I guess now they can kill Big Chandra. Decisions, decisions. I guess we ultimate, even though I kind of want to play this one, but we might find another one, I guess. And then we'll kill the Scions. Alright, that worked out. Alright, looks like they're trying to maybe find more spells for Phoenix. Alright, they drew another one. So Chandra down. I guess we wipe the board again. And we even have a Triumph up if they have another Phoenix. 
Seems okay. Could also plus and just kill Phoenix. Yeah, I could also minus two to exile the Phoenix. That's also reasonable. Keep Chandra at four. Hope they don't have like a shock. Or be forced to triumph the token. I mean, at this point, if they get Phoenix back, they get back at least two already. So maybe I'm just hoping they don't find three spells. They have one card in hand, so they're not super likely to string together three spells anyway. So maybe I shouldn't count on them getting back Phoenix and just play as if they wouldn't be able to. In which case... Maybe plussing is the play. Just try and kill them quickly here. And probably gonna end up killing the Arclight Phoenix with Triumph. So that means they will be able to get back double Phoenix and kill my Chandra. Alright, fair enough. I mean, Chandra would have died regardless. So I guess they're not playing Crackling Drakes, but they're just playing Arclight Phoenix instead. Right, they will send everyone to be safe. So I don't have to triumph now, I think I'll wait. Since we can't save it anyway. And then maybe this forces them to send more creatures at my next Chandra. Oh, I tapped one to money lands here. I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we're just on the burn plan here. They're taking two per turn. They don't have any life gain, presumably. And this will deal a bunch more damage. So the life gain from Beacon definitely plays a big role here. Could still die if they have their own Castle Embereth. Opponent's just going face. Can kill the Royal Scions, so we'll just go kill a Phoenix, I guess. No problem. Fire can Probably still need some help off the top. Since we might still die before we manage the ultimates. Yeah, that's a lot of lands. We couldn't find lands earlier and had to exile some good ones like the uh, the Regulator and I think another Chandra too. So I don't think we're dead here, but definitely getting close. My opponent's gonna take two down to ten. I'm not gonna be able to ultimate. Unless I find three mana Chandra to put an extra counter on it. So we'll see. Yeah, Regulator would have been uh, a great draw. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. We have drawn half of our deck, but uh, one regulator got exiled early and one got exiled when we needed to play six mana Chandra. So do they go after Fire Artisan? 
They probably hit it for at least one, so we can't ultimate if we find some way to put a counter on it. And they're gonna play it safe and go with two. It's gonna put them to eight and pretty much need to top deck another six mana Chandra or busts. Does that do anything? Ooh, Cavalier of Flame. Now what? Second play. Cavalier. I guess we discard two lands and keep Chandra. Or I can discard Chandra, let's see. If I play this, I gain three. I can take out a Phoenix. I would be at 15, 11, 12, 13. I mean, I might survive just by playing this. I think I keep it. Another beacon. So we'll give haste, forcing them to block with one token. Take out a phoenix and hope they can get it back. I think that's better than going face here, since otherwise, let's see. Yeah, otherwise we probably die. So currently I'm taking 12, 13, 14. So we're not that on board. Hmm. What is my strategy? But if they find three spells, we're dead. Discards Mountain. Well, that Cavalier definitely kept things exciting. Not sure if playing Beacon last turn versus District was worth it, but that one life could matter. Alright, looks like we're not dead. Does that do it? I guess I might as well plus here first. Let's see. I guess... I'll we'll start here. And then I can just wipe their board, I suppose. And if they can't make more fairies at instant speed, this kills them. Probably didn't want to tap all my mountains there, but that's fine. Could I have dealt damage to my other Chandra? I guess I could have yeah, dealt 6 to this Chandra to kill them. Yeah, I was kind of thinking, can I deal damage to my own Cavalier to kill them? But uh, that would exile it. So I should have indeed uh, just dealt 6 to my own Chandra Fire Artisan. But uh, yeah, let's see if we still get there. I guess... Yeah, if they can save this, then it doesn't matter. So might as well go face. 
Uh, can they find instant speeds, car draw, opts, a radical idea would do it. Looks like they didn't. Alright, close game. Last turn should have definitely just guaranteed killed them by minusing on my own artisan. But uh, yeah, exciting game. That was a fun one. Hmm. Probably can keep triple Awakened Inferno. Even if we do have Ambercat to maybe ramp it out. Alright, this is a bit better. And how greedy do we get? Do we bottom our only interaction? It's pretty good with Acolyte of Flame as well. Maybe I just bottom Acolyte of Flame. Now nah, let's bottom the Shock. So, facing Healer's Hawk. I guess, uh... Some sort of white weenie deck, or maybe blue-white flyers. Now do we plus add loyalty, or do we make elementals? We are up against blue-white flyers, it seems. Adding loyalty might be better, actually. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Don't really feel like racing against Healer Sock. And uh, we might need the extra loyalty to get back a burn spell from the graveyard to use as removal. Hoping to draw land so we can play Cavalier, since this also makes mana for Elementals. The land is huge. All right, that's a little awkward. We'll add some more loyalty. Forces them to hit it for one more, maybe buys us a turn. Perfect. Can be countered, so don't need to worry about counter spells. And our elementals are safe. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. She's right. Alright, just a spectral sailor. Alright, Chandra down, that's fine. Alright, we're on the play, and yeah, this seems quite good. We've got our early interaction with Shock, we've got our Embercat next turn, and uh, hopefully we get to go turn 3 Novice Pyromancer into a turn 4 Awakened Inferno. Yeah, I'll Shock the token here.
opponent might be on Celestia tokens. Or just a mono green beatdown deck. Looks like mono green. I did see a uh, Celestia token deck playing Lovestruck Beast earlier. Seems okay, although it does potentially uh, kind of get stuck if you have some sort of anthem effect pumping your tokens. So we'll just plus for now. Nothing to minus on. And we don't have to be worried about questing beasts. It's gonna be a Yorvo. Ooh, nice Lotus Field. That's a spicy addition. So let's make some mana. I guess I messed up here. I should have tapped uh, the Ember Cat for mana so I could play Chandra. Minus three to deal three to everything and then shock to finish off Yorvo as well. I guess it's still fine to just uh, minus four Yorvo instead. Before we start plussing. And then I'll just keep the Amber Cat on defense. Just in case. Lovestruck Beast, that's fine. And I'll trade here. I can start plussing. Do have this mobilized district that's gonna come in handy. And I guess it's just uh, pluses as well. Slowly but surely start dealing some damage. If they play a 1-1 one -one token, we can shock it so the beast doesn't attack. And yeah, there's another Heart's Desire. Paradise Druids, that's okay. And a Crawl Harpooner. I could minus three and then minus here as well to finish off the beast. I guess it's okay. And then let's see, this costs two mana to activate, so we can attack and still have it back on defense in case of any haste shenanigans. And next turn we can start plussing Chandra once again. Alright, well the turn 3 Novice Pyromancer into turn 4 Awaken Inferno is definitely paying off here. Ooh, Cavalier of Thorns, that's a good blocker. So I don't know if we'll be able to keep our Chandra alive for much longer. Elvish Reclaimer, I guess that plays well with the Lotus Field package. Although Chandra's Triumph is a great draw. Can uh, take out Cavalier in addition with the uh, damage from Chandra. And then we can plus here. Alternatively, I could sacrifice Chandra to exile the Cavalier of Thorns so they can put a spell back on top. Otherwise, what do they get back? I guess maybe another Lovestruck Beast, which could be an issue. But then I guess the Reclaimer might be a problem too. So I think I'm just gonna plus. And then we'll minus. Fire 
And then I have the option of jump blocking the Elvish Reclaimer. If I want to save Chandra, just to get a couple extra activations. Cure is pretty good too with the Lotus Fields, untapping it, making 3 mana. I guess I'll keep Mountain in hand in case we find our Cavalier of Flame to have something to discard. So our opponent takes two. Whenever Cavalier of uh, Thorns shows up, it's like we're stuck in a wind tunnel all of a sudden. Yeah, I think the plan is just to try and get another Awaken Inferno activation and just burn them out. That helps. Could just kill the Reclaimer now, I guess. Instead of going face. Sure. So 3 damage per turn, hopefully they can't attack with the Lovestruck Beast. But even if they do... We can probably still uh, kill them before they manage to kill us. Alright, I guess Vivian could complicate matters if they have a way of getting life in the sideboard that they can search up. And it does take out Chandra. Although I guess now they're pretty far from an ultimate. Although Biogenic Ooze definitely... Uh, can ratchet up the damage pretty quickly. So Triumph was a good draw. Just go face here. <laughs> and I think he'll ooze over killing Vivian. Opponent falls to 5, they've got 2 turns, so there's no way they're gonna ultimate uh, Vivian here. Yorvo draws a card. And another Reclaimer. Alright, I mean they can definitely get pretty close to killing us. Especially if uh, they can attack with the Lovestruck Beast next turn. Our best draw here is just a shock, I guess, to kill them, or another 2 damage effect. My, my, how you've grown. Alright, Regulator, not a reason to hold the line, of course. So... This doesn't do much. Activate Regulator. Huh. So I can... Minus to make two red mana. Use it again. But I'm still not gonna have enough to... Play Awaken Inferno here, since... I have to spend one to make four, so I'll have five mana total. So sadly not enough to play Chandra, but... I guess we can still just plus here. So if they don't kill us this turn, they would just die to the Awaken Inferno triggers next turn as well. But we do have a backup Awaken Inferno in case they somehow do gain life. So did they draw a 1-1 one -one creature? Otherwise they only have uh, 15 damage here. Alright, we got our sweet. So yeah, Chandra Tribal, pretty fun deck.
Definitely capable of some explosive starts, thanks to the Chandra's Amber Cats in particular. So yeah, if you enjoy casting some Red Planeswalkers, then uh, Chandra Tribal might be the deck for you. That's going to be it for me today. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.